When Mary Kay came into my life, I was right out of college, uh, newly married, and I just started my first real job um, of teaching. I taught third grade and really just thought it was my dream job. I was excited, so I started teaching, and a couple months into it, um, the reality set in that it wasn't exactly what I wanted. At the same time, I needed a job, so I couldn't just walk away from that job because we needed the income. So I just kind of felt stuck and not sure what to do, and it was in that time in my life that Mary Kay came into my life through a really good friend of mine. When she got started, I kind of made fun of her because I pictured it for old ladies who wore way too much gaudy makeup, and I thought they just went door-to-door -door selling lipstick, so I was not interested whatsoever but wanted to support my really good girlfriend as she was starting her business I started trying the products and I really fell in love with all the Mary Kay products and then I watched my girlfriend have a lot of fun and she's making a lot of extra money doing Mary Kay part-time and that was just so appealing to me and so eventually I decided to get started and honestly didn't even think it would work out in the back of my mind I, I kind of even wanted to prove that Mary Kay didn't work because the opportunity just seemed so um, it seemed like it was this pie in the sky thing that normal people really couldn't be successful with, but I was willing to give it a shot. Within eight months of doing that part time, we had earned a free car with Mary Kay and I had exceeded my teaching income. And so that's when I really stopped and looked at the opportunity and thought like, wow, can I really do something part time and make a full time income? I continued to do it part time. I was still teaching full time at that point. Um, we ended up earning our next free car later on that spring and then we earned the Mary Kay pink Cadillac that summer. And at that point, it had been about a year and a half, we had earned three free cars and I was making a lot more money. I retired or resigned from my short two-year teaching career at that point to do Mary Kay full-time and have really fallen in love with the business opportunity more and more every year that I do this. I really saw the opportunity offering two main things that I wanted. The first one was a good income. My husband and I at that point were living paycheck to paycheck. I also wanted flexibility. Um, I didn't want my work to be my life. I wanted to have flexibility with my schedule. I wanted to be in control of my life and how I spent my time. I wanted to have a family, um, but then I wanted a good income. It's hard to have both. Sometimes you can make a lot of money, but you give up your flexibility. Or you have a lot of flexibility, but you're not making a good income. Mary Kay really offered both. I had flexibility, I was my own boss, but I also had a great income and a lot of earning potential. When you're a Mary Kay independent consultant, um, you own your own business, and um, I don't plan on firing myself anytime soon, so as long as I'm willing to get up and work, I have a job security and, a, and an income in a business that I can work. Before I started Mary Kay, I was um, kind of a tomboy, didn't have a lot of confidence. I was really shy. I hated speaking in front of groups of people, even small groups of people. I had to take speech class in college and it was traumatizing to me uh, because I was just so shy and not very outgoing. Um, so not the most likely person to do Mary Kay because of that. And also I wasn't the sales type. Um, whenever I just sell something at school, like cookies or candy or calendars, I would always try to talk my mom or my grandma into buying everything to hit my quota or I would try to buy it all myself because I just didn't like sales. I was willing to take a chance on that opportunity um, because it was so good um, that I was willing to put myself out there and take a chance. I didn't know if it was going to work out. I didn't know if I'd be good at it. I didn't know if I'd be successful. There was a lot of fear and uncertainty, but I was willing to take a chance because um, of the lucrative opportunity opportunity that Mary Kay can really offer women. My very first month in Mary Kay was not that wildly successful, but I did manage to sell uh, 2,000 retail, which is pretty good for a new consultant. And in Mary Kay, we profit half of everything that we sell. In one short month, doing it less than five hours a week, I made an extra thousand dollars to contribute to our budget and to our bills. On average in those first eight months, I worked about 10 hours a week, give or take, holding about two to three parties or appointments per week. Also within that, within my first eight months, I had exceeded the income that I was making as a teacher. Also, I had been promoted. Those first eight months, I was moving up the career path, whereas with teaching, um, there was no promotion. There was really no opportunity for promotion in the first several years of my career as a teacher. An entire career in teaching, it would have taken me 35 years 
uh, to make half of the income I make right now with my Mary Kay business. When I left teaching, there were a lot of people in my life who thought I was leaving something very secure, but it was the opposite. About a year and a half into Mary Kay, we got to go to London, England for a couple of weeks. The trip was paid for in cash with extra Mary Kay money that I had made and saved that year. And that would have never financially had been an option or a choice for, for us to do that. We got to pay off some bills, pay off some debt, and travel. And with Mary Kay, if I'm willing to work, I've got a job and I've got a way to make income. So there's a lot more security when you can do something for yourself and work for yourself versus working for someone else. One of the intangible benefits of Mary Kay that I really didn't expect and even think that I wanted in my life was the fun and girlfriend time. When I started Mary Kay, I didn't want new girlfriends. I thought I had all the girlfriends that I needed. But when I started, all of a sudden, I had this new support system. I had these women in, in my life who were positive and they encouraged me and they wanted to see me succeed. A lot of times at other job places, you can kind of get stuck on the negative. People complain and talk about how much they don't like their lives. But in Mary Kay, you, you're really encouraged to be positive positive and see the bright side and you have the support system um, that is really encouraging. That has been something I valued even more than the um, tangible things that you can gain in Mary Kay. You get to travel a lot if you want to from little trips that we do locally just to go out to dinner or get our nails done um, to bigger trips. We go to Chicago for a big shopping trip and we go to Dallas every July and, and go to banquets um, and it just really adds so much fun uh, to your life. Another intangible benefit besides the income that you can earn um, is just the personal growth that you um, can gain. It really draws out your potential and you step out, your, step out of your comfort zone, which is a little bit scary and uncomfortable, but the benefit is that you just grow a lot as a person. You can move into a leadership position um, where you're sharing this opportunity with other women and teaching them how to be successful and teaching them to grow into the person that God created them to be. So it gives you an opportunity to be a leader and a mentor. I have a mentor, Mary Kay, who's always taught me that confident women will raise confident children. You cannot give your kids and your children what you don't have. And a lot of women are craving more confidence and need more confidence just so they can give it to their children. When you lack that in your life, it's hard to pass that on to your kids um, and so that it affects them and changes their life. The intangible bene benefits of doing Mary Kid, they're so vast and they're so, there's so many. It doesn't just affect my life in the here and now, but it's gonna affect my kids' lives and their kids' lives and it's gonna pass that on. When I started Mary Kay, I did not have children, but I always wanted a family. But I've always wanted a career too. I wanted the best of both worlds. Mary Kay really has the answer and the solution for that. You get to have a fun career. You get to get out of the house. You get to have your own thing. You get to connect with other people and help people. But then you get to be in the home because you are working from the home. Now that my son is about a year and a half old, it's been so awesome this past year to be able to be at home with him and work from home and really have flexibility with my schedule so that I can keep my family as a priority in my life. When the kids get sick, you don't have to worry about it. Um, when you need to pick them up early from school, you can do that because you, you have control over your own schedule. The value of that has been so awesome before I had kids and, and so much more now that our family is growing to have that level of flexibility. Mary Kay does stand on the principle of putting your faith in God first in your life, putting your family second, and then your career third. It's usually career first, career second, and career third. But in Mary Kay, you have the flexibility to put the most important things to you first, and then your career can fall in behind there. You can work hard for the future and hard for retirement without losing um, that time with your kids, without losing the control you have over how you spend your time. You can have a job and have an income without sacrificing what's most important to you, um, which is often your family. Before Mary Kay, you know, I was, I was worried and stressed about little things like putting gas in the car and paying the bills every month. When you don't have quite enough money, it's kind of the first thing that you think about when you wake up in the morning. It's kind of the last thing you're worried about when you go to bed at, at night. When you have enough money to support your family and your future, you don't think about money. There's more freedom and choices that you have in your life and that you can give your family when uh, you can make a, an income that can support your family and your future. My husband 
uh, had all of a sudden had this dream to go to law school. He left a full-time job and gave up a full-time income to go back to school for three years with no job and no income. And we were paying cash for him to go back to school, not taking out more loans. That would have not been a choice for us if it was not for the income that we do have with Mary Kay. In addition to a good income, you can earn a lot of recognition in Mary Kay. From a really small level, you can be recognized in your unit, to a larger level um, where Mary Kay Corporate really does a lot for their sales force. You can earn jewelry and cash prizes. You can earn furniture for your home. Then at a higher level, you can earn cars. You can also earn trips around the world. My husband and I have been able to travel a lot. We've earned trips to Munich, Germany and Rome, Italy, and a Greek island cruise. We've been able to go to Maui, Hawaii. We've got a trip coming up to Provence, France, and also to Monaco. These are all, um, all expenses paid vacations that we get to go on. As a sales director in Mary Kay, you can earn them, but then your spouse gets to go for free um, on this trip. Those are more of the ways that you can be recognized and appreciated for how you work your business. In Mary Kay, you can earn uh, free cars. The first level, it's a Chevy Malibu, or you can take cash compensation instead, $375 a month cash. The next level up, it's an Equinox, a Chevy Equinox, or a Toyota Camry, or you can take $500 a month cash. And the highest level, of course, is the pink Cadillac. Um, if you don't want the pink Cadillac, you can take $900 a month cash compensation. The company covers majority of your car insurance, tax, title, and license, and every two years, you get a brand new car from the company. So right as that new car smell is wearing off in your car, you get to turn that one in and pick up a brand new one. Imagine the impact that would have in your budget uh, to not make a car payment um, and to have a majority of your car insurance covered. Uh, think of the cash flow that that could free up when you can earn a free car with the company. I'm just so passionate about passing it on to other women so that they can have the same opportunity that I've had in my life. And there's not a certain one type of person who's successful with this. There's all types of women who do it, but there are some things that we look for. A big thing is integrity. There's a high priority on integrity when you work your own business. We look for women who are busy. They may not have a lot of time, but they're usually productive and they can get things done and make things happen. And also busy women are usually connected in the community. So they're busy, they have a lot going on. On, but it's almost easier to weave Mary Kay into your life when you're involved in the community because you just weave it in and you connect it with the things that you're doing and share the product with the women that you already have in your life. So we look for busy women. We also look for women who just feel like there's something inside that they, um, that they haven't reached their full potential, like a giant inside that just is waiting to get out and waiting to be expressed. A lot of times other jobs don't bring out that full potential. There are th some things that hold women back. Fear holds a lot of women back um, because honestly, it is kind of scary to start something new. It's scary to step step outside of your comfort zone and do something that you may not sure be sure you're gonna be successful at. Never let fear hold you back from something that can really be an incredible opportunity. A big thing that holds women back today is, is the time. Most women are maxed out today already. They've got a career, they've got kids, they're going back to school, they've got a home that they need to take care of. It's hard to imagine adding something new. It was for me too. I couldn't imagine adding something on top of the career that I already had. Another thing that typically holds women back is not feeling like it's the right time or the perfect time in life. I think had I waited for the perfect time, I don't think I ever would have done it. If you wait for the perfect time for a new opportunity, it's never going to come. And same with Mary Kay. The lights will never all be for you to start this new business opportunity. Mary Kay, the corporate company, has um, just big goals with supporting women and supporting the community. They have a charitable foundation where they raise money to support two main causes. One is to fight domestic violence and then the other is to um, fight cancers that affect women. And so they give a lot of money to research. They also support, do a lot of support for Habitat for Humanity. It's neat to be a part of a company that that, that is their focus and that's a priority. Mary Kay is the number one best-selling brand of skincare and color cosmetics combined in the US.
US. They've been number one for the past 14 years. There is a lot of brand loyalty and women love the product. So it's a brand that sells. It's also a household name. When women hear Mary Kay, uh, they think of cosmetics and lipstick and, and they know what the product is. So that household name uh, just gives it a lot of um, credibility. Some of the products in Mary Kay have the good housekeeping seal which just basically means that the product does what it says it will do. So it's a high quality product, it's a prestige product, but it's also for a middle of the road price. You're not gonna pay as much for Mary Kay as you would for, for some other brands that you're gonna see at the mall. It's a product that sells even when money is tight and even in this economy. Women don't give up their makeup. It is that, that low ticket item that women are still willing to splurge on because it makes them feel beautiful and look beautiful. Mary Kay Ash, the woman who started the company almost 50 years ago, back in 1963, she was voted the greatest female entrepreneur in American history. She was voted that not only because the company has been wildly successful, um, it is a multi-billion dollar cosmetics company, number one best-selling brand in the US, um, and they're also debt-free, they're a completely debt-free company. She was voted that because she started it in the 60s. It was a time when women barely were out of the house working, they were in the home, um, much less did they start their their own businesses and, and uh, work as entrepreneurs. It's also in um, over 30 countries worldwide, so it is an international company. And it's been an incredible opportunity here in America, but so much more in other countries uh, that women don't have the opportunity that we have. So I wanted to ask you some questions to wrap up. Um, do you have all that financial freedom and flexibility that you want in your life? Do you have the checking account and savings account and retirement account of your dreams? Uh, do you have fun, positive friends to spend time with and do fun things with and, and friends that support you and want to see you succeed? Um, do you have a mentor who stretches you and who really supports you in growing into the person that God created you to be? Um, do you have all the flexibility that you want in your life? Do you have freedom in your life to spend your time how you want to spend your time? Um, and then do you have a, a way to grow personally, to grow as a person, to be stretched, to tap out your potential? Because Mary Kay really could fulfill um, one or all of those needs in your life. It's an opportunity that has so much to offer to women. Um, so why would you wait? <laughs> why wait any longer? Because we would love to support you in building your own Mary Kay business. And you know, don't think it to the ground. Don't overanalyze it. Um, you know, it may not work out, but you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And so we would love to support you in building your own Mary Kay business today.